Hi, my name is Will, and today I want to take a look at the Panasonic GH4 and a couple of its picture profiles, Standard, Cinelike D, and the all-new V-Log. I also want to compare these to the Canon T2i and the Sony NEX6. So I went out yesterday and shot some footage right near sunset, which I think will test out the dynamic range that we're getting out of the V-Log. Now here you can see the V-Log actually seems to have quite a nice roll-off uh, in the highlights. However, we're getting a ton of noise in the darks. Now as we put them side by side, with a quick color correct, we can see what we can get out of it. Now I'm not a colorist, um, but I can kind of get by, uh, so we can see at least what we can pull out of the uh, image. Comparing that to the Canon and to the Sony, we get quite a very nice roll off uh, in the highlights. It's just the darks that we seem to be having trouble with. Uh, so we'll see that as we go along. Now actually, I really do like the standard profile. It actually looks fine. Uh, the Cinelec D, again, looks even better. Vlog, I see that it has a lot of dynamic range, but I'm kind of not really impressed. Uh, the grain, the grain is pretty substantial. Um, now I know there's a lot of third-party plugins that can get out that grain like Neat Video, but really, again, that's just kind of an added step that really shouldn't be necessary. But we're actually getting a quite nice image, dynamic range-wise, out of the GH4. It kind of reminds me of just a heavily grainy version of a Canon C-Log. Now for every single shot, the ISO is set at a constant of 400. So we shouldn't be seeing any of this grain. So it's kind of worrying me that we're getting any of this. But um, it doesn't seem to be showing up in the... Cinelike D or the standard, it only seems to be showing up in the V-Log, so maybe that's something I need to be looking into. Um, as far as color correcting though goes, it actually seems like it's a very flat image you can pull a lot out of, as long as we don't have a lot of that grain. Kind of cool to go back and see the uh, amount of moiré that we're getting on uh, the bridge, compare that to the GH4. Uh, with this 4K sensor. Granted, all of the footage shot on the GH4, I shot at a 1080, so none of this is downscale. This is actually shot at 1080, but that moiré is pretty substantial on the uh, Canon and the Sony. All right, now here's a test I did about the exposure levels. I correctly exposed a shot, and then I also went back and underexposed it by two stops and overexposed it by two stops to see what I can get out of the color correction. Now it makes sense that in the correctly exposed shot we're gonna get the same thing. We're gonna get a lot of grain in the darks. Now the underexposed shot, again, makes sense. You're gonna have a ton of that grain. It's nearly unusable unless I were to just crush the darks and uh, only use the brightness and kind of silhouette all that grass. This is kind of an unusable shot. Now what's really nice though is that when we overexpose and color correct we actually get a very clean image. I don't see a lot of noise. Uh, it actually seems like a quite nice image. So I would say going forward with this uh, new picture profile, I would overexpose by about two stops, two or three stops, and you'll have a very nice image to work with. 